What's up, everyone? Welcome to episode 147 of Coast Leaves Podcast. I'm Sean Orr, doing good buddy Trevor Bast. Second, 147? 140, I know. Jeez. Last time we, t- it honestly feels like we just potted a few days ago. We did. It, well, it was almost a week ago. Time has flown by here. Uh, Victoria is always a time. I time love, mar- I love time marches. We're on YouTube. Well, no, let's just, let's, let's, like, we are being filmed and we might put it on YouTube. For depending the, on how my hair looks. Ten people to watch. If we get ten views, I'd be stoked. We would get some ad, ad traffic for that. So we had uh, quite the weekend. We had uh, a music festival in Victoria. Producer Reg played at it. We got some sound yeah. bites uh, uh, coming later on. Got some interviews. Put, pieced together a little bit of a podcast. It's a great weekend. Your friend Nico, uh, Reg, a random Habs fan in a Habs jersey. Neville. Neville. No, we never got Neville. That's no. why I kind of want to. Do, I don't want to do it yet because I want to get Neville. Yeah, he was pretty amped. Yeah, he was amped. Yeah, but I gotta get Neville when, when he's settled down. He's still bit. amped. He's too amped. Is he still amped? So <laughs> they made they made the front page front of the newspaper. Page of the paper, like that's a big deal. Does anybody read newspapers anymore? How many how many papers did you buy? Uh, we bought three, but by the time we got out there looking for them, I think Neville had gone around Langford and bought them all. <laughs> Put all the newspapers. When I when we contacted Wyatt last week that you're going to be here for possibly two podcasts, he uh, he gave us two sets of beers. This the, one this one has a two on it. The West Coast IPA was fantastic. So we, we talked last time. We we, we ranked it. A, we both ranked it an Austin Matthews on yeah, opening night. I did. Once the podcast was over, uh, we were still able to drive. We went back to Liquor Planet and we bought all of the West Coast IPAs. We each bought, we each bought five. They yeah, now it, was, it was that good. It was it was that good. It was that good. I have the bag. I'm gonna do the big reveal. Hide it from the audience. Regardians, a collaborative coffee ale. One for you. I love a coffee. I love a coffee beer. A 4.5 percent alcohol, brewed with local light roast coffee beans. Regardian showcases lively coffee and fruit notes with a delicate light malt forward body for a refreshingly balanced coffee ale from White Sales Brewing Co. We've had White Sales White a few Sales. Times. That's in, is that then in, I always get the two mixed up. Twin Sales or White Sales? White Sales is in IMO, right? Yep. Uh, this is some serious, serious artwork. It's very cool. Hey? It's a, it's a white can with a, with a dark uh, graphic design, um, just two-tone, lots of detail within it. It's pouring light. It does. It, it's, it's an it's ale. A nice ale looking. Uh, it smells excellent. Does You'll it? have to give us the uh, the mouthfeel rating. Oh yeah, we're gonna work mouthfeel into this. It's definitely you gotta keep, coffee it, you gotta keep it PG. Producer Reg. So that have, uh, a, have a can. It's actually very light in your mouth. Is it really? It's not thick like an IPA. So it can't be you can feel based it. on yeah. taste. It can't be based on. Like smell, it's a separate sense. It's feel. feel. Yeah, we established that last time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me see. For the new listeners. That feels good. That but does it feel heavy, light? Um I, I kinda I, I have a hint hint of a um slight after burn taste. <laughs> Didn't you get tums? Um, <laughs> tums. <laughs> yeah. No. The the mouth feel is wet. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that rating most of the year. Wet. Wet. Good. Yeah. So last pod we, we played a little bit of a game and uh, there, there's a there's a major faux pas oh. that, that we need to bring and up. And finally it wasn't me. Um. So we brought up contract ideas or, or people that contracts were signed, and yeah. did you know where they signed? Yeah. I picked out Frederick Gautre. Not good, Freddy the Goat. We we assumed it was Freddy the Goat signing a two year, two point five million dollar contract in Minnesota. Yeah, it was the wrong Frederick Goche, and who knew there was two? S- someone did, and someone screenshotted <laughs> yeah, the uh, the transaction I and I, I, sent I, us a tweet of the error that I made. It was almost like it was less than twelve hours of the pod being up that someone had already. Created. I am actually going to shout him out because he is a good friend of the pod. And uh, I said, was it uh, Wine Mixers, I think, that did that one? I, I, I didn't really want to go into detail. I just felt shame. Yeah, it was, it was TC at Wine Mixers. 
How many points does Sean lose for mixing up Freddy Goudreau with Freddy the Goat? And I even, like, but, but you know what, there's some shame on me too because I actually got it wrong. Like if, it, if it was the actual Frederick Roche, I said Arizona, Yeah. did I? And he is unsigned. No one signed him. Yeah, so you still... Future Hall of Famer Frederick Goche is unsigned. You did not get a single person correct and I got everyone correct. That's right. Yeah, you were 0 for 5, I was 5 and 0, but you had a... No, I was 5 for 5. You 5 for 5. 0 for 5. I was 0 for 5. And you, you had a fail at... Uh, I got docked two points off for that, so you were 3 for 5. Still I was win. 0 for 5. <laughs> still it's still a win, and it's still a pass. So we have nothing to talk about today. We have no planned... No planned... Um, this is awkward. I'm on YouTube. I'm going to sit up straight. Here there we is... Uh, we're still... Over a month away from the start of the season, um, it's just we're in that lull. And usually this is a lull, like an August lull, but we're we're, we're pushed back like three weeks. We're still mm -hmm. in September. Yeah. Um, but we we did do uh, we had a, a cute little bingo card game that we put out. We did at the start of uh, summer. Yeah. Uh, or free agency, whatever you want to call it, whatever it was, and we had points available. And so we're we're gonna go through these, yeah. and it, we were bad. Like we we were not good at picking a proper card. So the first three were players taken by Seattle. We did not even have to correct Kerfoot, Hall, and Dermot. All different Bengal spaces. None of those were correct. You want to hear how engaged I am in the Leafs right now? What actually did happen? They took McCann, the guy we traded. Oh, for. Jared McCann from Pittsburgh. Right. Yeah, we, we, we did. We we took him to protect those guys. It was a really strategic move by Kyle. And then the last two on the first row was Riley's traded and Freddie resigns. Riley traded is still in play because that's by the start of the season. Fair. Right? Uh, Freddie resigns. And not happening. So the next one were uh, Bogosian resigns. That was incorrect. He went back to Tampa. He'll become a four-time cup-winning defenseman now because he signed for three years. <laughs> Leafs acquire a first-rounder? They didn't. No, they no, didn't. they didn't do that. Though they had their first... No, they didn't have a first-rounder. Their first pick was the second-rounder, that Michael Kynes or Nines or whatever. Right. Uh, Leafs signed Halak or Rask? That, that did no, not happen. They didn't do that. Draft a goalie with their first pick? Uh, no. Draft no. a forward under six feet with first pick? Do we know? No, he was a he was a big boy. Okay, all right. It's like six yeah. three. Did you guys put down Babcock comes out as anti-vax? <laughs> no, we, we did not have a Babcock a vaccination one. comment. <laughs> uh, draft a defenseman under six foot with the first pick. That did not happen. But the draft has the draft happened? Yes, happened a few months ago. It was in Cleveland this year. I don't, I don't think so. I think it was virtual. Right. Uh, make a trade with Calgary. No. Make no. a trade with Edmonton. No. no. Sign Not a, yet. Yet. Because Riley can trade it to Calgary. Sign a UFA over $5 million. No. Mm. We sign Hyman. No. no. Hire Bruce Boudreaux. No. Fuck. It didn't happen. Dubas makes more than three trades. No. Marner traded. No. Draft a Sue Greyhone. No. No? Acquire a former Leaf. No. Oh. So, literally... Every thing on the bingo card was wrong. But so, but here's the thing. Those were just scenarios. Um, I didn't submit a card because we the contest was pick five and whoever gets the most, or was it ten? But the thing is, though, the so, maximum you could get is zero. Pick ten squares. But you, you, the, the maximum number you can get is zero. You can't get more than zero. Everything no. was wrong. I know. But really, the, the suckers are our listeners who picked 10. Because I didn't even play. <laughs> we played on the pod. <laughs> did, did we do our own picks? I think so. Okay, we'll have to go back. It, it, it's this offseason has just been a, a cluster. It's it really like, has been. Everything would be wrong, though. No matter what you pick, mm -hmm. it wouldn't matter. It would be incorrect. Although we're, we're more than... We're like 36 days away, 37 days away from the puck drop. Like half of these could come true. Anything no. trade or Boudreaux could still be an assistant coach. Probably not. Head coach? No. No? The only thing that could happen would be Riley or Marner being traded, and that is highly unlikely. And a trade with Calgary or a trade with Edmonton. That's correct. We could trade for Hyman. What do you think it would take to get Hyman back? 
I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So, I I, uh, I met a I met a Habs fan at, at the concert. He was a he was a good guy. Uh, he was not obnoxious. He he was wearing a, a jersey. That's how I knew. Were you obnoxious to him? No, okay. no. I was probably not enough beers deep to be obnoxious. It takes me a lot. That's fair. Because I'm a pretty respectful guy. Um, did we talk about Did we talk about how many Leafs on the last podcast? How many Leafs might end up on their respective countries' Olympic teams? Did we touch on? We talked about that Possibly. just between you and I, maybe. Yeah, I I can't remember. Can't remember. It feels like a lifetime ago that pot happened. Who's who's a player who you w- would maybe like sneakily be on the Olympic team for their country? Jack Campbell. You think so? Like, who are the who are the frontrunners in goal for the U.S.? Like, I don't, Connor I, Hellebuck. Okay, well, hey, starting goalie right there. Yeah. They need three. Spencer Knight. Yeah. Jonathan Quick. Oof, I don't think so. Well, I thought the Athletics put a story out, and there's and Jack Campbell was not on the list. I'm boycotting stories about hockey right now. Because you still hate hockey? No, I like hockey. Um, but I think I'm going to be amped up for opening night. I think it's going to be a slow build. But like, what, what's amped up in your mind? Uh, Tyson Berry. Like the, like the number... Like, like our, our number, our second, our two out of five beer rating, Tyson Berry. Like, you, you, you expected more and it just didn't deliver. Like that one. Probably. But that's my level of ampageness. That's fair. Yeah. So what do you got there for USA goalies? I, I can't even find it because it's okay. my my app's not fucking working yet. Where's Where's Peter Engvall from? Sweden. He's not making it. He's not making the Leafs roster. <laughs> do we have any obscure countrymen from on the on the Leafs? Pretty standard. Nylander will make Sweden. I thought we did this last pod. Mm, I think you. I think we touched on the fact that the Olympics are happening. Um, what do you, you know? What I'm not looking forward to. So how's this going to work out? So we have. Side note: I'm not liking this beer. No. It's making my stomach curdle. You know. You know what? Ha- you know what happened to the last coffee beer we had? It was also th- not great. It was terrible. It was so that. It was that one from Riot. We thought it was flat. I like a. I don't like a coffee. Um, what is this? I don't like a coffee ale. I like a coffee, a dark coffee beer, like a stout. The, or the a, port, or a just, coffee porter. It's just a, it's a weird if I, mix. If I, see a, if I see a coffee beer pour light, I'm like, eh, I don't know, like, just, yeah, I, I need a dark beer. And it's getting to winter season. Like, we, it is, uh, it is getting to winter season. It is sweater weather in Victoria. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, but it's sweater in the morning, shirt off in the afternoon. It's like that weird shoulder season. Are you a shirt off guy? Yeah, oh, right. I, I, I haven't had, I, I just put a shirt on when you came over. I took it off at 12. I, I, I worked with no shirt on today. Well, that's, that's acceptable? Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah you don't, uh, you haven't seen my customers. <laughs> Have you met my customers? What's your line of work? <laughs> I can't say. I can't, I cannot say. <laughs> We, I put out a couple questions, and uh, because we're, we're so popular, and people are so engaged, we got two questions, none to do with the Leafs. Um, How is Trevor feeling about the Riders' start to the season? Cole Hayes, Cole underscore Hayes, if you want to give him a follow. Uh, 3-0, and uh, that was nice. Big test on the weekend with Winnipeg in the uh, Labor Day game, and I think it was the first good team they played, and they just came up short. Couldn't get the offense going. Uh, okay with the defense. Defensive effort was okay, but couldn't get the passing game going. I totally zoned out on everything you just said. You just there. you picked up your phone and you sent a sent a message to somebody. I, I did you reply to a, a, an email? J- just zero fucks are given about yeah. the CFL. Well, this one this one's gonna get your attention. <laughs> this one's gonna get your attention because you're actually going to a friend's house tonight to do a CFL fantasy draft, right? That's incorrect. What is it? An NFL. <laughs> and you have the you have the sixth pick. Does the CFL even do fantasy? Yeah, they do. Yeah, you can do it through TSM's website or something like that. Do you play? No. You gotta pick a number between one and nine. Could That's you? All it is. Could you <laughs> yeah. name the quarter starting quarterback for every team in the CFL? Mike Riley, in BC. Bo Levi Mitchell in Calgary. Although he might have been replaced this year. Uh, not, Isn't he like a former MVP? Not. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, the Edmonton Elkskimos. I don't know. Elks. Dave Dickinson. They're called the Elks now. Elkskimos. No, that's that's not that's not kosher. It's not kosher. They're getting canceled. Uh, uh, Cody Fajardo in Regina for the Rough Riders. Um, uh, former rider quarterback Zach Kalaros, starting quarterback in Winnipeg. Eastern Conference, no idea. There's Just only three teams. Hamilton, Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa. Oh, four, four teams. teams. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, 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 missed the, I missed the season preview show. But you have six picks. Do you have, do you have a, without, like, because this isn't going to be out there for your friends to know. Do you, by the time like, you get there, do you have a, someone circled for your six pick? When you have the six pick in an in a NFL fantasy draft, is that a quarterback? Does it no. have to be a QB? It's usually a running back. And the thing is, though, it, you're kind of at just like it's whatever gets picked ahead of you. Mm. And you kind of take what gets fallen, what falls to you. Right. So I'm not. I'm not okay. sure I'm going to take. Do you have a short? You give me. Give me like two players on your short list that you think might be there around number six. Devonte Adams or Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb. Yeah, he's he's pretty good. About he played for Nebraska, right? I'm not sure, but he plays for Cleveland. I just made that up. Oh. Are we gonna take a Brown? <laughs> you you gonna take a Cleveland? I used to be so hard into uh, Cleveland's actually pretty good. I used to be really hard into U.S. college football. I used to know. Didn't Cleveland I, lose like the first eight games of the last season? No, Cleveland been to, Cleveland was quite good last year. Yeah, it's, a few the, years ago they were bad. Their quarterback is Johnny Goudreau. That's incorrect. It's um. What's well, the Giants? Baker thinking of. You're thinking of Johnny Manziel. Johnny make Ben, yeah. Johnny Manziel was a few years ago. You know who my favorite NFL team is? I don't really talk about the NFL much. It's uh, it always was like from I'm I'm going back to 1970s uh, Dallas Cowboys. Roger Staubach. And then the '80s brought us Tony Dorsett. That's so edgy of you to like the Cowboys. So you're a Cowboys fan. <laughs> well, that see, you gotta understand what my sports preferences. The origin of my sports preferences was, I was a two-channel TV guy until the '80s, right? So the only thing they showed on like CTV once a year was the Steelers and the Cowboys, and then, uh, then the only tennis tournament we saw was Wimbledon. So Bjorn Borg was my favorite player, and I got a two-handed backhand because I used to watch the Wimbledon final against McEnroe. So like a lot of my sports opinions and favorites from my childhood are based on just what filtered up to like once a year in, in Canada. Like we used to get lacrosse. We used to get lacrosse once a year on Canadian television. And there was no, there was no lacrosse played in Regina. And so I would take, once a year, I would get pumped about lacrosse. I would go and, and take like a, a bleach container, okay? Like a bleach. I'd cut it in half so it had the basket part, yeah. but you kept the hole. You'd put a, I'd put a broomstick through it, and I'd throw a ball around the yard. We are just making podcast heaven right now. Oh, this, that's, that's so sad, man. That's so sad. <laughs> that is a very that sad sounds like something story. from the Great Depression. And then, and then my dad <laughs> built a garage in the backyard, and I couldn't play anymore up back there. Okay. Yeah. But that's uh, somehow less sad. <laughs> What's that? That's somehow less sad than the part about you playing. But I'm just saying, like, based on somebody my age, you have like your sports, your sports opinions are are the origins of them are not the same as. Like say somebody Reggie's age or your age, because you you had full access to like the entire plethora of uh, of cable networks and specialty networks and stuff like that. So how'd you like your beer? That's yeah, question number two. There, that that was the first question. Yeah. Honest opinion on Carlton being voted number one mascot, and why is the correct answer UP? So Yuppie's not a thing anymore, because so was he, could vote, was was Carlton voted was best Yuppie? all time? Who was Yuppie, though? Yuppie was that, like, pear-shaped guy with uh, the the ex Montreal Expos mascot. He drove around on a, on a, uh, on a um, ATV. Oh, Reggie, remember that time we were in Seattle at a Red Sox um, Mariners game, and the mascot actually ran over a player with the... Uh, it ran over Ken Griffey Jr. The Mariner Moose hit Ken Griffey Jr., wasn't it? I thought he hit Mookie Betts. Oh yes, it was. It was. Yeah, yeah he yeah. hit Mookie Betts with the uh, with the SU with the, with the ATV. That's crazy. <laughs> he just he lost control of it. No, actually, I think it was Coco Crisp. Oh, it was Coco Crisp. It was Coco right. Crisp. Coco Crisp of the Red Sox. Yeah. 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 yeah you're right. The the best mascot is Gritty, and then 
Yeah. And are, but, but in your opinion, are mascots even, like, are they relevant anymore? Are they even a thing? I think for kids, they're still pretty important. Taylor, do you like a good sports mascot? Yeah. You yeah. do? See, I, I think, okay. like, I've seen it, I've seen it, I've read stuff, and, like, mascots really do. Like, it's, they're big for kids, they're popular. Like, Finn is maybe as popular as any player. Oh, the, the Canucks guy? Yeah. Yeah, Finn, Finn's cool. Like, he's a, a killer whale. Like, I don't think you, you can really badmouth a mascot. I can't wait. Like, is, is the, um, is, is the, uh, Mer is the Seattle Kraken's mascot going to be the guy walk around like in a bottle of like a, just a bottle of Kraken and uh and taking pictures with kids and with the rum? <laughs> yeah. I, I think would hope not. It'll be a pirate. No, no, it's it's going to be a sea creature. It'll be a sea thing, but how do you like but that thing has lots of tentacles and stuff. Like how do you how, like how are you going to get around and do flips and stuff like that? You have there's, there's a lot of liability potential there. I'm sure they're fine. Yeah. Was the mascot not at the unveiling, like of the the draft lottery, or or that just the mascot yeah, just Frank Cerebelli? So it's Frank Cerebelli. So what what's the news today about Chris Johnson? This is this is actually important. Going to the Toronto Star. Oh, leaving Hockey in Canada, as an insider. The thing they put like, the only good thing about his, Hockey in Canada. They said his you'll find his writing, on yes. the Toronto Star. And like years before, like Damien uh, Cox used to be on the Insiders. Like C O C K S. He, no, C O X. But he is kind of a C O C K. <laughs> yeah. And he, he wrote for the Toronto Star, but he was still not. It, it didn't really get into any details. There's a lot of like classic, like the the media loves to pat the media each other on their backs. Yes, and, of course. And, uh, they didn't really get into details. It makes me feel like he's still going to be on the telecast as an insider, but he's going to be writing a lot more. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like, I think I've said this to you before. I don't know if I've said it on the podcast, but the only reason I tune in to anything intermission or pregame on Sportsnet or Hawknet in Canada is to see Chris Johnson's insider thing in the second intermission of Saturday night. Like, it's all just... It's all, it's just a wasteland of, like, dummies. Yeah, he, he's by far the best. Absolutely the best. So, hopefully CJ gives me a reason to not just go to the bathroom during the intermission all the time. And tweet. There, and tweet. Tweet angry tweets after the second period of every Leafs game on Saturday night. So, so how'd you like the beer? I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it, who's that new guy? Who's the three, who's the three out of five guy? It, act, it actually. No, I'm gonna give it a two. We, we got to change our thing up because, like, I'm gonna give it a Tyson beer because I was I was excited when it got here, but then it didn't deliver. Like this, this is a one for me. Is it a one? Like, what, what was a one? Do you can say that about any player on the Leafs? I, I don't. I forget. <laughs> they like, never delivered. I You're forget right, right. what the one is, but like, no, it wasn't a, a Polak. No, no, it was a Polak. Was no, we, we revamped them. A, a one is something else. We don't even know. Like, I I need to do a lot of work on this podcast between now and the beginning of the season. This is an absolute mail in like podcast. The, but sometimes just like you gotta do some housekeeping. Yeah. This was this was a housekeeping. You can't just sit there and like Morgan Riley and like fucking like just dr dig, drill to the core of the earth every single podcast. Like that hurts. Sure. That hurts my heart. But uh Well on that note, <laughs> go leaves go. Go leaves go. <laughs> That's good.